So, what is a mortgage loan, basically? Explaining it in simple words, it is a loan which you borrow from a bank in order to build your own home and you then pay back this borrowed money in years to come with the addition of interest. Most mortgages are currently just offered on a reimbursement premise which implies you pay back part of the capital and the interest consistently. Towards the end of the term, which is generally somewhere around 25 and 30 years, your home loan obligation will have been absolutely reimbursed. A few loan specialists permit you to take out interest, only mortgages which imply that your regularly scheduled instalments just cover the interest rate. You accordingly need an arrangement set up with a goal that you can stand to repay the sum you at first acquired in full toward the end of the term. Numerous major lenders have pulled back from the interest-only market, while others have fixed their criteria, making them harder to get on account of worries that a large number of individuals have interest just mortgages without any method for repaying them. Choosing interest only may appear to be alluring on the grounds that your mouth-to-mouth -mouth reimbursements will be lower than with a repayment contract, yet unless you have a strong arrangement to pay back the capital, it's best to go for a settlement advance. What must a borrower look for when going for a mortgage? What are the rules in different nations? All this and much more is covered in this book, so do give it a read. An Introduction to Mortgage Loan What is a mortgage loan? A long-term loan taken out to buy land and property is called mortgage loan. In this, you pay back the advance along with interest over a time period of anything up to 35 years. A mortgage loan is the greatest, most costly monetary item the vast majority has ever taken out, so it is essential to comprehend the terms and pick the right mortgage for yourself. Moreover, since a home loan is secured against the property, on the off chance that you don't stay aware of your mortgage loan reimbursements, your bank can reclaim your home. Opt for the wrong one and regardless of the fact that you don't lose your property, you could wind up paying a huge number of pounds more than you have to in interest and fees. Different types of mortgage Fixed rate With a fixed rate contract, your financing cost is set for a time frame, generally 2, 3, 5 or 10 years. This implies that your regularly scheduled instalments will dependably be the same among the period, regardless of the fact that the bank base rate goes up or down. These mortgage loans are most appropriate for individuals who have made up their mind to pay somewhat more for the security of knowing precisely what they'll pay every month. Variable rate with a variable mortgage rate, your interest can increase or decrease as the month progresses, depending upon external elements. There are two principal sorts. Tracker. These have an interest rate that tracks either the bank base rate or your moneylender's own standard financing cost. In case that you pick a mortgage loan that tracks the base rate, your financing cost and the sum you refund every month will change if the bank changes the base rate. For instance, a tracker mortgage loan may be 1% above base rate. In the event that the base rate is 0.5%, you'll pay 1.5%. In this way, if the base rate ascends to 2%, you'll pay 2.5%. On the off chance that your mortgage tracks your bank's standard rate, known as a Standard Variable Rate or SVR, what you pay is absolutely based in light of your moneylender's impulse. By and large, SVRs rise and fall in accordance with the base rate, and the lender is permitted to change the rate at whatever point it sees fit. Discount this is a variable rate contract that tracks the lender's SVR, yet a few rate points lower. For instance, the markdown may be 1% off the SVR. So if the loan specialist's SVR is 3%, you'll pay 2%. 
A variable mortgage loan may suit you in case you need to pay fewer amounts now and is prepared risk the chance of your month-to-month -month reimbursements rising if the interest you are following rises. Offset An offset contract gives you chance to interface your bank account as well as increase or decrease your present record too to your mortgage loan so you just pay interest on the difference. For example, in the event that you have a mortgage loan of £100,000 and reserve funds of £20,000 and £1,000 in your present record, you would just pay interest on £79,000 of your mortgage loan on the off chance that you connected it to these records. The best thing about offset home loans is that while you profit by lower intrigue charges, as you would if you paid off huge lumps of your home loan, you can likewise get to your funds at whatever point you like. You can likewise get to your funds at whatever point you like, giving you the best of both universes. Offset mortgages can be a perfect choice for anybody with a lot of funds or independently employed labourers who develop cash to pay their tax charges every year. In case this is you, then an offset mortgage will most likely spare you more cash in unpaid interest on your mortgage loan than you could gain with a conventional bank account. Buy to let Buy to let BTL mortgages are particularly intended for proprietors are particularly intended for proprietors who need mortgages since banks see investment property as high risk. Yet in the event that you are going to lease a property utilizing a mortgage, you need to have a BTL contract. BTL mortgages are basically indistinguishable to typical home loans. For instance, you can pick between a variable and a fixed rate interest rate. Be that as it may, the amount you can obtain will rely upon the potential rental pay of the property instead of your own salary. Likewise, BTL contracts require a bigger deposits than different sorts of mortgages. Key mortgage phrases you need to know. First time buyers. In case that you've never had a house, you are a first time buyer. FTB. Numerous loan specialists offer exceptional arrangements for FTBs, keeping in mind the end goal to help you onto the property stepping stool and transform you into a long-term client. So be watchful for mortgages composed particularly for FTBs. Remortgaging This is the point at which you take out another mortgage to pay off a current one. The commonest reason to do so is to save cash. For instance, you may be on a two-year fixed rate and discover your instalments rising up, typically to the loan specialist's SVR, after the fixed period comes to an end. At this point, you might need to consider remortgaging to get a less expensive rate. A few individuals likewise remortgage, keeping in mind the end goal to obtain a bigger sum so they can pay off their obligations or pay for home enchantments. Porting. This implies moving your mortgage loan starting with one property then onto the next, permitting you to move home without remortgaging. Not all mortgage loans permit porting, so on the off chance that it is something you think you may require, then do check the terms and conditions before you take out a mortgage. Loan to Value LTV You'll see this tossed around a lot of times when you are searching for a home loan. It implies the amount of cash the bank is loaning you as a rate of the estimation of your home. Along these lines, if your house is worth £200,000 and you have a £40,000 store, you have to acquire £160,000 or 80% of the percentage of your home. This means that your LTV is 80%. Mortgage fees. How paying them can save your money. Whatever kind of mortgage you pick, you're prone to be hit with a substantial amount of arrangement fees of around £1,000 or more. This can be paid fortnight or included onto your mortgage, which implies that you will pay interest on it for up to 35 years. 
you may likewise need to pay legal, booking and valuation charges. Yet a few lenders offer fee-free mortgages, which can sound extremely tempting. All things considered, you are sparing around a thousand pounds by not paying the arrangement fees, right? Indeed, fees-free mortgages have a tendency to have higher interest rates. Thus, you may really save up cash by paying a charge consequently for a lower interest rate. Whether fees-free mortgage will work out less expensive for you relies on the size of your loan and the size of fees you may some way or another pay. Where to get a mortgage Banks, building societies and specific mortgage lenders – all these offer mortgage loans. However, just don't go around into your neighbourhood bank and begin filling out application forms. In order to get the best deal, you should consult a comparison website. What you need in order to get a mortgage A deposit You have to save up a deposit to get a mortgage loan, and the greater, the better. On the off chance that you save a 10% deposit, your mortgage is going to be 90% of the property's estimation. This is known as the Loan to Value (LTV). Usually, it is said that the lower the LTV, the better the interest rate you'll be qualified for. A good credit history A bank will check your record of loan repayment when you apply for a mortgage. They will need to perceive how you've taken care of borrowed money in the past and are you paying your bills on time or not. The better your record of loan repayment, the lower the interest rate you will be offered on your mortgage. Proof of affordability Mortgage lenders will run a check on you in order to see if you can afford your mortgage. To do this, they take a look at your salary and outgoings. In case you are self-employed, they will need to see your payslips and in case you are independently employed, they will need to see your records for the quite longer time span. At that point, they will take a look at your other financial duties and choose the amount they will be lending you. A Potential Home Your mortgage lender may well give you a mortgage in principle before you have chosen your fantasy home. Be that as it may, they won't give off the funds until they've done a valuation of the property you need to purchase. This is done in order to ensure if it is worth it to pay for, so they can make sure they'd recover their cash on the off chance that they need to wind up prepossessing your home. Repaying your mortgage After calculating the mortgage, you will come on term with a mortgage lender. This is actually how long it will take to pay the mortgage back. 25 years are the standard mortgage term, however, most banks permit terms of up to 35 years. In case you are in a position to pay the loan quicker, you can agree upon a shorter term. Your mortgage lender will let you know the regularly scheduled installments you have to make to pay back the mortgage before the end of the term, yet you can get an estimate of what you'll pay for this adding machine. Mortgage repayments comprises of two parts – capital – this is the cash you obtained – interest – this is your installment to the lender. There are two ways you can repay your mortgage. Repayment – this entails you to pay off a percentage of the capital and a portion of the interest every month so that towards the end of the term you possess your property out and out. Interest only – this implies you simply to pay off the interest every month, so your reimbursements will be lesser. But the huge drawback existing in this case is that you would still owe the capital you borrowed. For this reason, mortgage banks will demand you to have an arrangement set up, for example a speculation, to pay back the capital. Interest only is additionally more costly over the long term as you are paying interest on the full advance for the whole length of the mortgage. On the other hand, with a repayment mortgage, the amount of interest you are paying gradually falls as you pay back the capital. In case that you fall behind on your regular monthly instalments, this is known as arrears. If you don't pay off your arrears when asked for by your mortgage lender, it might, in the long run, repossess your home.
Tips when shopping for a mortgage. Know what you can afford. Go through your monthly expenses to calculate what you can afford to pay for as a home, including the mortgages, property taxes, insurance and month-to-month -month utilities and maintenance charges. Make sure that you put aside something for crisis. Moreover, you must also be sure about this that you can easily pay for the mortgage loan on time for several years to come. Check your credit report closely to ensure that the information in it is accurate. A higher credit might help you out in getting a lower interest rate on your mortgage. Shop around. Compare loans from lenders and brokers. Shopping requires significant investment and energy. However, not looking can cost you a huge number of dollars. You can get a mortgage advance from mortgage lenders or mortgage brokers. Brokers prefer arranging mortgage loans via a lender instead of lending money directly. In easier words, brokers sell you loan from a lender. Neither brokers nor lenders need to locate the best loan for you. To locate the best loan, you need to do the shopping. How much shopping you are going to do depend entirely on you. Understand loan prices and fees. A lot of consumers accept the very first loan offered and don't apprehend that there exist chances that they might get a better loan. On any given day, lenders and brokers may propose varied interest rates and fees to a couple of different consumers for the similar loan, even when those consumers have the same loan qualifications. Keep in mind that lenders and brokers also think about the profit they obtain if you consent to the terms of a loan with higher fees, higher points or a higher interest rate. The best and the cheapest way to avoid expensive loans are to shop around. Know the risks and benefits of loan options. Mortgages have numerous elements. Some have fixed interest rates whereas others have changeable rates. Some have payment modification. On some, you pay just the interest on the loan for some time and after that you pay down the principal, the credit sum. Some charge you a penalty for paying the loan off right on time. And some have a substantial instalment due toward the end of the loan. An inflatable instalment. Consider all mortgage highlights, the APR, annual percentage rate and the settlement costs. Inquire from your lender that how much your regularly scheduled installments could be in 12 months' time and 5 or 10 years from now. Mortgage calculators can help you analyse installments and the fairness you could work with various mortgage loans. Get advice from trusted ones. A mortgage loan is a standout amongst the most perplexing, most costly financial responsibilities you will ever expect. It's all right to request offer assistance. Converse with a trusted lodging advocate or a land lawyer that you contract to review your reports before you sign them. Improve your creditworthiness. Your credit profile is very important for your lender. When you are making preparations to purchase a home, ensure that you are currently managing your debts responsibly. Always pay your bills right on time and break off your exceptional balances by paying more than the smallest amount. In mostly cases, you'll see lenders like to see a borrower with a debt-to-income ratio of 36% or less. Save for down payment. Despite the fact that a 20% upfront instalment on a mortgage is perfect, it's not required. Numerous banks look forward to purchases who will put down no less than 3% besides the Federal Housing Administration, which requires a 3.5% upfront instalment. However, in case you are occupied with building sizable equity right away, stash a powerful amount of money to take to the close table. Also, do your due diligences to get some answers concerning any nearby initial instalment help programs. Seek pre-approval. Prior to running into house hunting mode, 
get your hands on a mortgage pre-approval. This procedure is utilized to let a hand in determining how much money you're capable of borrowing for a home purchase. Once you are pre-approved, you will have a more practical probability of which for sale houses fall within your financial plan. You may meet the requirements for a loan that is nearly three times your gross annual income. Shop for a lender The home buying prepare includes more than simply pursuing a good interest rate. You need to locate the best mortgage rate for your financial situation. No two sets of lender fees are similar, so it's essential to get loan approximations from several lenders before making a conclusion. Research loan types A fixed rate mortgage isn't exact for every home buyer. Neither is a modifiable rate mortgage. If you map to stay put in a home to lift up a family, you might think about a 30-year loan. On the other hand, if you are moving in 10 years or fewer, an adjustable rate mortgage or ARM could suit you very well. Interest rates on ARMs are permanent for a quite a few years of the loan and often start off by lower than rates on 30-year fixed loans. It also includes jumbo loans, which are normally used to acquire luxury homes. Consider your lifestyle. When you buy a house, you're additionally putting resources into the group that encompasses it. As you look out for homes, think about your work substitute, close-by schools and any extracurricular actions in which you and your family might contribute. Remember to budget. Your month-to-month -month contract instalment won't be the main cost you have as a property holder. There are, likewise, mortgage holders' protection, property imposes, upkeep expenses and, more than probable, mortgage holders' connection charges, which is the reason it's important to hold fast a financial plan. Consult a professional The home buying process is a testing one, which is the reason it has the help of qualified experts. Make inquiries of your loan specialist and land operators and connect with the Housing Council, an agency endorsed by the US Bureau of Housing and Urban Development, for further direction. Don't forget the closing costs. Not just do you require a strong upfront instalment for a home buy, you'll need to pay closing costs. The loan estimates you obtain after pertaining for a mortgage gives you a proposal of the cash to close or the money you require to complete the transaction. There are few closing costs for which you can shop and save money, along with others which are fixed. Beef up your savings account Draining your savings in order to fund your down payment is not at all a wise idea especially when you don't have anything left behind in your account. A practical rule of thumb is to build up stock for three to six months' worth of living expenses. This puts you off from beating credit cards or loans and building up more debt. Advantages and Disadvantages of Mortgages Loan Advantages of Mortgage Loan First, Mortgage can make home ownership affordable. Purchasing a house is liable to be the greatest buy you'll ever make and a mortgage will be your biggest obligation. Since you can spread the reimbursements on your home credit over such a large number of years, the sum you'll pay back each month is more reasonable and moderate. Generally, when individuals take out their first mortgage, they've had an option to choose a 25-year term. Be that as it may, there are no guidelines about this and as you are living longer and the retirement age is going up, 30-year home loans are turning out to be more normal. This can cut your regularly scheduled instalments down, however, on the other side, you'll be saddled with the obligation for more. Going for shortest term is worthy as it is easily affordable. Not only will you be mortgage-free earlier, but you'll also set aside yourself thousands of dollars in interest. And not to forget, 
when you remortgage and switch over to a new product, you shouldn't plump for for another 25 or 30 year term. For instance, say you take a 5 year altered rate bargain as your first mortgage and acquire the cash over a 25 year term. When you come to remortgage 5 years after the fact, you have to plan to take that mortgage out more than 20 years. Second, a mortgage is a cost-effective way of borrowing. Interest rates on mortgages have a tendency to be lower than some other type of borrowing as it is secured against your property. This means the bank or building society has the protection that if it all goes off a beam and you can't repay it, there is still something precious, your property, to retail to pay back some if not all the mortgage. Interest rates on mortgages are always showing signs of change. Throughout the years, they've been higher than 15% and lower than 2%. Settled rate and tracker contracts have a tendency to be the most well-known. However, there are additional repayment and counterbalance contracts, in addition to items went for first-time purchasers and landowners. Third, Leverage one of the chief focal points of a mortgage is the subsequent leverage. On the off chance that you purchase a $5,000 home with a $1,000 initial installment and a $400,000 advance and the home analogy is 10% in one year, you have made a 50% benefit on your venture. Had you purchased the home for all money, your return would be the same as the appreciation rate, 10%. Leverage permits you to profit off the bank's mortgage to you. It commonly expands the compelling knowledge rate by up to five times, by up to five times. Fourth, security. While there is a secure conviction that all is good that originates from paying off your mortgage, there is security, too, in having a trade out the bank since you have a home loan on your home as instead of paying all money. On the off chance that a seismic tremor strikes, your protection will, in the end, help you remake your home, accepting you have quake protection. Be that as it may, shouldn't something be said about all the cost you will incur meanwhile? Imagine a scenario in which another crisis comes up in the meantime. With a mortgage, the bank bears the lion's offer of the danger to your home, and if fiasco strikes, you can leave with cash in the bank. Life is full of stormy days, from separation to sickness and employment misfortune, and each one of them is immoderate. You will be in a greatly improved position to climate financial tempests with a mortgage than without, expecting you have set cash aside. Fifth, investment opportunity. The estimation of chance might be hard to characterize, yet it is positively genuine. On the off chance that a unique business opportunity emerges overnight, would you have the capacity to exploit it if your cash has gone to pay off your home loan or buy a property without a mortgage? You may be sparing a lot of cash by evading contract premium, however, that may be able to not hope to compare to what you could make in a business wonder. Sixth, Mortgage Interest Deduction The interest paid on your home loan is deductible, as far as possible, on your tax bracket. The estimation of the deduction relies upon the amount of interest and your tax bracket. In the event that you had a yearly mortgage interest installment of $30,000, not under any condition remarkable in higher estimated lodging markets, and you were in the 28% charge section, it would be worth $8,400 in deductions. Disadvantages of a mortgage First, you will pay a bank a lot more than you initially borrowed. The most evident drawback is that you are carrying a huge amount of debt over quite a while. The other significant downside is that given that the mortgage is secured on your property, you must have the capability to stay aware of your home loan reimbursements or you could lose your home. 
In the middle of the credit crunch, moneylenders worked hard at keeping even those battling with mortgages in their home. Be that as it may, if mortgage holders truly can't make their reimbursements, their home will be repossessed. The bank or building society will then offer it to recuperate their cash. Despite the fact that the month-to-month -month sum you are paying may appear to be sensible, the aggregate sum you pay back throughout the years is enormous. For instance, somebody who obtained £160,000 over a 25-year term would reimburse £280,600 altogether once interest is included. This expects the rate of interest midpoints 5% over the term. Second, missing out on tax deductions for interest. Regularly, the essential reason that property holders keep up their mortgage debt is to appreciate tax advantages of interest on the interest paid. When you pay interest on a home loan, that interest rate is generally tax deductible. Third, bypassing additional tax deductions. If you paid points on your loan, one point is 1% of the loan amount. You trim down your interest rate on your home purchase. That sum is also tax deductible for that year. In addition to this, many closing costs such as fees for your loan application and assessment may be deductible. Fourth, other assets could suffer. On the off chance that you give the majority of your wage to paying down your home loan, and don't have a retirement store or blustery day reserve with abundant funds, you may end up in a money-related gap should a startling monetary plan You may end up in a money-related gap should a startling monetarily depleting occasion happen. Fifth, carrying debts that have higher interest rates. It's conceivable that your mortgage loan rate is essentially not as much as rates connected with your charge cards or automobile advance. Why not dispose of the debt with the most astounding loan costs first? In the event that you have value and a strong credit profile, it's possible to unite those debts and dispose of installments that convey extravagant rates and expenses. Sixth. Reduced Portfolio of Responsible Bill Paying Keeping up a mortgage instalment properly that doesn't deplete your debt-to-salary proportion may loan believability to your obtaining power and credit portfolio. Having an obligation and making instalments on time shows financial debts. Seventh, Diversification is Threatened Paying off a home advance may not bode well in the event that it implies putting all of your investments tied up in one place. On the off chance that you are in the fifth year of a 30-year note, it might bode well to contribute extra subsidies somewhere else so you can set up money-related investment funds in different portfolios. Eighth, other financial goals may get derailed. In high-cost states where $300,000 or more is owed on a credit, it might be quite a while before without a worry in the world home proprietorship is conceivable. Consider substituting months of paying an additional mortgage instalment and adding to your retirement store versus just paying down your home credit. Mortgage law in different places around the world United States the mortgage business of the United States is a chief financial portion. The national government shaped a few projects or government-supported substances to cultivate contract loaning, development and empower home proprietorship. These projects incorporate the Government National Mortgage Association, known as Ginny May, the Federal National Mortgage Association, known as Fannie Mae, and the Federal Mortgage Corporation, known as Freddie Mac. The U.S. contract part has been the focal point of major budgetary emergencies regarding the most recent century. 
unsound loaning homes brought about the national mortgage crisis of the 1930s, the savings and loan crisis of the 1980s and 1990s, and the subprime contract crisis of 2007, which prompted the 2010 dispossession crisis. In the United States, the mortgage loan includes two separate archives. The mortgage takes note of a promissory note and the security interest proved by the mortgage record. For the most part, the two are allocated together. However, in the event that they are part generally the holder of the note and not the mortgage has the privilege to foreclose. For example, Fannie Mae proclaims a standard structure contract multi-state fixed rate note, 3,200 furthermore isolate security instrument contract frames which fluctuate by the state. Canada In Canada, the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation CMHC, is the nation's national lodging office giving mortgage credit protection, contract supported securities, lodging approach and projects and lodging exploration to Canadians. It was made by the central government in 1946 to address the nation's post-war housing shortage and to help Canadians accomplish their home ownership objectives. The most widely recognized mortgage in Canada is the five-year altered rate shot mortgage, rather than the US, where the most widely recognized sort is the 30-year altered rate open mortgage. Throughout the financial crisis and the resulting subsidence, Canada's mortgage market kept on working great, incompletely because of the private mortgage business sector's strategy structure, which incorporates a viable administrative and supervisory administration that applies generally to banks. Since the crisis, nonetheless, the low loan cost environment that has emerged has added to a critical increment in mortgage obligation in the country. In April 2014, the Office of the Superintendent of Financial Institution OSFI, discharge rules for mortgage protection suppliers went for fixing guideliness around guarantee and hazard administration. In an announcement, the OSFI has expressed that the rule will give clarity about best practices in admiration of private mortgage protection endorsing, which add to a stable monetary framework. This comes following quite a long while of government investigation of the CMHC, with previous Finance Minister Jim Flaherty considering openly as far back as 2012 about privatizing the Crown Corporation. United Kingdom The mortgage industry of the United Kingdom has customarily been overwhelmed by building social orders, yet from the 1970s the offer of the new mortgage credits market held by building social orders has declined significantly. Somewhere around 1977 and 1987, the offer tumbled from 96% to 66%, while that of banks and different organizations ascended from 3% to 36%. There are, as of now, more than 200 noteworthy separate money-related associations supplying contract advances to housing purchasers in Britain. The significant moneylenders incorporate building social orders, banks, specific mortgage partnerships, insurance agencies and benefits stores. In the UK, variable rate mortgages are more regular than in the United States. This is to a limited extent since mortgage loan financing depends less on altered pay securitized assets, for example contract supported securities, than in the United States, Denmark and Germany and more on retail investment funds stores like Australia and Spain. Thus, banks lean towards variable rate mortgages to settle rate once and entire off-term altered rate mortgages are for the most part not accessible. All things considered, as of late, altering the rate of the mortgage for brief periods has ended up famous and the underlying 2, 3 and 5 and incidentally 10 years of a mortgage can be fixed. From 2007 to the start of 2013, somewhere around half and 83% of new mortgages had beginning periods settled in this way. 
home proprietorship rates are similar to the United States. However, general default rates are lower. Repayment punishments in the middle of an altered rate period are regular, whilst the United States has disconsolate their use. Like other European nations and whatever is left of the world, yet not at all like the vast majority of the United States, contracts credits are typically not a non-recourse obligation, which means indebted individuals are at risk for any advance inadequacies after foreclosure. The client confronting parts of the private mortgage segment are controlled by the Financial Conduct Authority FCA, and moneylenders' financial property is administered by a different controller, the Prudential Regulation Authority PRA, which is a piece of the Bank of England. The FCA and PRA was set up in 2013 with the point of reacting to the feedback of administrative failings highlighted by the financial crisis of 2007 and 2008 and its aftermath. Islamic Countries Islamic Sharia law precludes the instalment or receipt of interest, implying that Muslims can't utilize ordinary mortgages. In any case, the land is very costly for a great many people to purchase inside and out utilizing money. Islamic mortgages take care of this issue by having the property change hands twice. In one variety, the bank will purchase the house outright and afterward go about as a landowner. The home buyer, notwithstanding paying rent, will pay a commitment towards the purchase of the property. At the point when the last instalment is made, the property changes hands. Commonly, this may prompt a higher last cost for the purchasers. This is on account of in a few nations, for example, the United Kingdom and India. There is a stamp obligation, which is an estimation charged by the legislature with a change of possession. Since possession changes twice in an Islamic mortgage, a stamp duty might be charged twice. Numerous different locales have comparative exchange charges on change of possession, which might be collected. In the United Kingdom, the double utilization of stamp obligation in such exchanges was uprooted in the Finance Act 2003, with a specific end goal to encourage Islamic mortgages. An alternate scheme includes the bank exchanging the property as per a portion arrangement at a cost higher than the first cost. Both of these techniques repay the bank as though they were charging the premium, yet the loans are organized in a route that in name they are not, and the lenders share the money-related risks included in the exchange with the home buyer.